Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Virgo duplicated on houses in a natal horoscope. Now, most of you know the sign Virgo, uh, some of the, I guess you could say, main characteristics or attributes associated with the sign are about being analytical, being very uh, punctilious with details, hardworking, industrious, uh, prudent, being premeditative. It's about, uh, Virgos can be very cautious as well, being an earth sign, being very punctual, uh, being very uh, diligent, reliable, dependable, but at the same time can sometimes be uh, strongly uh, perhaps judgmental at times, maybe overly critical, maybe too much uh, emphasis worrying about uh, certain details that don't always need to be worried about now. And when you have uh, Virgo on the say on two uh, house cusps, which will be consecutive of course, there's going to be a very strong emphasis on this particular sign. Now and what it does too is it, it integrates and amalgamates those qualities uh, based on the house cusp. Those, those house cusps will be very strongly integrated and amalgamated uh, with each other and will be flavored by that zodiac sign. Now, if we look at, there's one uh, really intriguing, interesting example is uh, many of you may have heard of renowned magician slash illusionist David Copperfield. Well, he has Virgo rising, which Virgo would be on his first house, and he also has Virgo on his twelfth house. So it's very interesting uh, to see this because we know that the twelfth house corresponds with the zodiac sign Pisces. Now, and that's about illusion and deception. And sure enough, I mean, if anybody's the master of illusion, or at least very close to it, it's David Copperfield. And these qualities can come forth very strong in, in his outer uh, projection. I think I think we see him. That's really that first impression a lot is strongly connected with this. We say, oh, that's the guy, that's the illusionist. That's like the first thing that we see when we think of David Copperfield. Now, in having... Uh, and having these uh, houses merged like this, it's like perhaps that's why we see him uh, somewhat uh, being connected with things that are of a mystery, that are that are secretive, and in the fact that we see that illusionist quality in him it is so strong, and also the fact this could actually make his personality have somewhat of a mystique to it. In, and being enigmatic. This shows that he could be uh, strongly emphasizing these Virgo qualities, not only in his outer projection, which is his rising sign, first house, but it shows in the twelfth house as well, that in the, as far as twelfth house matters go. Now he can, it shows that perhaps in private, even in his private life, he shows uh, dependability, reliability, being being punctual with things, being very discerning. The twelfth house also rules secret enemies and adversaries. So what this could indicate is is that he could be very discerning as far as that goes. And which really could be could be very good being able to have that, that Virgo eye for things that very uh, seldom uh, misses things. They have this ability to see even the most minute or minuscule details that a lot of people would often be oblivious to. And, what, of course, when you have uh, duplicated uh, signs in a chart by, by houses, like uh, David Copperfield has it the 1st and the 12th, you're going to have interceptions as well. Now, David Copperfield, in this example, he has uh, the 4th and 10th houses intercepted. Now, Based on his financial acumen, I don't in, in who he is, I don't see him really having 
too much difficulty with matters pertaining to the tenth house, such as the career, livelihood, notoriety, uh, the, the public image. But what could what it could be is he might have problems, perhaps with the balance of matters with the fourth and tenth. Perhaps at times he may overly accentuate and emphasize the career, the public image, the limelight thing, and then maybe it detracts uh, from his home life, his family life to some degree, which of course is the fourth house. Or there might be some vacillation. He might show strong emphasis on the fourth house at, at times, and then at other times maybe he's not putting that much emphasis on the career. But the duplicated um, houses with the signs are the way are, are, are ways to extricate yourself from these potential problems, which in this case would be the interceptions with the fourth and tenth house. So, as I stated before, anything that may have been a problem with him with public image, which I really don't know as far as David Copperfield goes because I haven't researched him that strongly, but if there was anything with any kind of secret or hidden adversaries, enemies, which is the twelfth house, the Virgo discerning I could very well point that out, having Virgo on the 12th. And what this could be is, this could help um, help as far as any potential problems with public image because he probably has the ability to point out those any, the, any kind of secret adversaries that would go against him who could potentially hurt his public image. And therefore, that's kind of uh, the way out. And also, just by the twelfth and first house being for him being uh, paying attention to detail, being organized, systematic in his private life, and being this way as as far as his outer projection goes, which is the same as his uh, sun sign. He's also sun in Virgo as well. By being uh, just in, in general with that first house uh, projection, showing these, having these Virgo qualities, emphasizing. Uh, being detail-oriented, being hard-working, being industrious. And, and this could uh, really lead to having, perhaps having that balance, that equilibrium, uh, being able to do um, analysis in private Virgo. And of course, the 12th house can be like introspection um, and things in seclusion. Being able to have that, that strong, emphasized analytical ability can he can apply this to finding out, to figuring out, okay, how am I going to have this balance in the four, in the in home and family life and matters pertaining to the career. So that is really what what the way out is. I would say more analysis than anything, which is of course an emphasized characteristic with the sign Virgo. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having Virgo duplicated in a natal horoscope. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Libra duplicated in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.